Hi everybody, in this short video I will show you how to fix an error that many people face when using Hydra for brute force attacks in Kali Linux. To be more specific, I'm talking about Hydra's inability to connect to SSH. If you have this issue, you probably just started learning about ethical hacking and penetration tests and your setup might look something like this. You have your Kali Linux installed on one virtual machine and you try to attack another virtual machine using Hydra. For me, the other virtual machine is Kiatrix Level 1, one of the most used virtual machines when starting to learn ethical hacking and penetration testing. Enough talk, let's jump right into the issue. This is the command that most probably you are going to use. Let me explain it to you really, really fast. First, we have minus L, which helps us define the username. In my case, it will be root. Then we have minus P, which is the path pointing to the list of passwords we want to try. Next is the SSH protocol, the one that gives us problems and which I will show you how to fix, followed by the IP address of the machine we want to attack. We have minus T, which is the number of tasks we run in parallel. And in the end, we have minus V, which stands for verbose and allows us to see on our display what the command does behind the scenes. Okay, let's run the command and see what happens. As you can see here, we have this error, could not connect to SSH. This is the problem we are trying to fix. In order to do this, you need to follow three simple steps. Basically, run three simple commands. Don't worry, you can find the commands in the description of this video, so you can easily copy-paste them. Good. First, we need to update our Kali Linux installation using this command. Okay. Because this might take 10-15 minutes, I will fast forward the video to the point when the upgrade is done. I recommend you to pause the video until your upgrade is done and then continue watching it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful tips about ethical hacking and other interesting topics. We are back. The update is done and we can move to the second step. What we need to do now is to make sure we have the latest version of Kali Tweaks installed in our system. To do this, we're going to use this command and check the version. The expected version is 2023.1.4 or higher, of course. Next step and the final one is to run Kali Tweaks and enable the SSH wide compatibility. If it is already enabled, make sure to disable it, exit, then go in again and enable it once more. For this, we are going to use this command. Once we run the command, a pop-up should appear on the screen. We choose the first option, hardening, by pressing enter on our keyboard. Then, using the down arrow key, we move to SSH client and press the spacebar. Once this is done, we move to apply, hit enter, confirm our choice, and we're done. Press enter to continue as recommended on the screen, move to quit, and we are ready to roll. Let's try and run the Hydra command again. This time we should have no errors. As can be seen, no error is generated and the program attempts to use different passwords for the root user. Now, depending on how big the password list is, it might take up to a few hours to finish all this. Good, thank you. This is it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching our channel. Bye.